everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Bite Beauty Supercharged Lipstick Set. If you do want to see a review and swatches, please keep watching. This set retails for $21 at Sephora and it's supposed to be a $32 value. You do get four mini Amouge Bouge lipsticks in this collection. It's inspired by crave-worthy holiday treats. All of Bite Beauty's products is made with food-grade ingredients, so let's go ahead and open up this little lip set. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says treat yourself and then when you turn it to the back, it says bite beauty here and then when you open this you do have the ingredients listed here which I thought was very clever I definitely think the packaging is very eco-friendly so let's go ahead and open this up right here you have the shade names here we have all four of the lipsticks Here's what all four of the mini deluxe size lipsticks look like I do want to do a comparison just to show you guys how teeny tiny these lipstick tubes are here we have the bite beauty lipstick and then here is the urban decay one this one is a little bit smaller I do also want to compare the bite beauty lipstick tube to the Becca one Becca one is a little bit bigger and then we have the Pat McGrath lipstick I'm just gonna remove the Becca and the urban decay here we have a side-by-side -side comparison of the Pat McGrath here we have the urban decay here's the Becca packaging let's go ahead and start swatching the first shade we're gonna be swatching is called Coco bite here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like let's open this up here we have the shade in Coco bite Coco bite is described as a warm nude shade Wow Coco bite is so pigmented these are cream lipsticks so you do have to reapply throughout your day but let's go ahead and see what it looks like applied on the lips Wow that is so pigmented I love this warm nude shade. It complements my skin complexion. I really thought this shade would be way too light for me. I expected this shade to wash me out, but it doesn't. Let's move on to the next shade. The next shade is called Ruby Bon Bon. Ooh, this is so pretty. We have the shade in Ruby Bon Bon. Ruby Bon Bon is described as a rosy pink shade. I love how pigmented these are with one swipe. Let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. This shade in Ruby Bon Bon is so beautiful. This will be my everyday go-to shade. Let's see what the next shade looks like. The next shade is called Pink Juju. Let's see what this shade looks like. Another beautiful shade. Let's see what this shade looks like. Good Juju is described as a pink nude shade. That is beautiful. Let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. This shade in Good Juju is beautiful as well. I really thought that this would wash me out. Moving on to the last shade in this collection. The last shade in this collection is called Cherry Truffle. Let's see what this shade looks like. Ooh, this is beautiful. Cherry Truffle is described as a spiced red shade. Wow, that is pigmented. All of these shades are pigmented. Let's see what the last shade looks like applied on the lips. I love this spice red shade in Cherry Truffle. It is gorgeous. Here we have all four shades swatched on the back of my hand. All four of these shades are gorgeous. They complement my skin complexion. They're very creamy, very pigmented. I would highly recommend you guys checking them out. One thing I do want to mention to you guys is that these lipsticks do transfer. I do want to do a kiss test on the back of my hand just to show you guys. As you guys can see that this lipstick shade does transfer, but the majority of the lipstick is still on my lips. I really do enjoy this formula. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.